In today's video, we're going to show you the life cycle of a raccoon. We're going to go over from birth to death how a raccoon will survive, how it'll grow, and how it will die. In this video also, we're going to go primarily over wild and urban environments. In wild and urban environments, a raccoon can live from two to three years old, and in rarer cases where a raccoon is really healthy or just kind of naturally better off, the raccoon could live three to five years old. However, in domesticated environments, where a raccoon is going to be protected in a safe environment, raccoons can live upwards of 20 years. So in the wild, their lifespan is really short, but if they're protected, it can be very, very long. Without further ado, this is a life cycle of a raccoon. First, raccoons will mate in the very, very late winter, primarily after hibernating. Raccoons sleep in their den for the majority of the winter, and then in the late winter, around February or March, a female raccoon that is over the age of one will be ready to mate. After mating, a female raccoon will wait about one to two months to give birth. The average is about 1.25 months, so about five weeks, six weeks uh, is also sometimes a general, and then sometimes it goes upwards of nine weeks. So a female raccoon is going to give birth around April or May, sometimes as late as June, but that's going to be a little bit rare, for example, if they made it late. So they're going to give birth around April or May, and in between the time of mating and giving birth, a female raccoon is going to very meticulously search for a suitable den to raise her young. In the wild, this could be in a hollowed tree, this could be in kind of like a cave-like area. It could be anywhere that is safe, secure, dark, and small. So that way the raccoons can feel protected, secured, they can hide from predators. And then in urban environments, this could be an attic, it could be in between walls. It's going to be wherever a female raccoon is not getting a lot of attention where they can hide. It's going to be darker and where they can rest. After giving birth, she will have an average of between three to six kits. Sometimes it's as low as one, and the max is usually around six or seven. So on average, it's usually between three to six, you know, four or five, that tends to be usually how many kits they give birth to. And then sometimes a female raccoon will come together with another female raccoon, and they will adopt each other's kits. The mother is very highly protective about her kits, and will very specifically raise them for about two to four months in the den. They're going to kind of stay near the den. They're not going to be too mobile and moving around. They're going to be very sedentary in that den. They're going to protect the area. And she's very, very protective about her kits, especially for those first two to four months. Kits will then stay with their mother for about a year in total after being born. So it takes about two to four months for them to kind of mature. And then they're going to reach full maturity about eight, eight-ish months, kind of around there. So about a year after being born, the raccoon will be completely fully developed and ready to reproduce. Also around that one year mark, they're going to wander off and kind of find their own little group to hang out with. Raccoons are primarily solitary creatures and not very social like dogs that need a pack all the time. So they're not really attached to their mom. They're not attached to their siblings. They kind of just go off and do their thing at the one year mark. After being one year old, Raccoons are ready to mate. They're ready to reproduce. So usually about around the 1.5 year mark, because they're born in kind of May-ish, around the 1.25 slash 1.5 year mark, which is going to be after that next winter, they're going to reproduce and it's going to repeat the cycle. That raccoon then, after reproducing, may raise their young. It may reproduce a second time if it's very, very healthy, or it kind of may just live off the rest of its life eating, foraging, hanging out with other raccoons, and doing its own thing until usually it gets too old and it's not able to hunt, it's not able to forage anymore, in which case it dies usually a peaceful death, or it's eaten off by a predator, which is a whole nother story. So that's it. That's a really short lifespan of a raccoon. It's a lot quicker than you would expect. They kind of just are born, they, they, they mature over the course of a year, then at that year mark, they're ready to reproduce, they reproduce, boom, they live one more year, and then they're already out again. It's very, very quick, and like I said, when they are domesticated, which is not ethical, by the way, we have another video on that about why it's not ethical and why we can't domesticate raccoons, 
But in cases where we have artificial environments, raccoons can live to be very, very long, about 20 years, but in the wild, they're gonna live to be about two to three years. So we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up, and if you have any questions regarding raccoons, leave it in the comment section below and smash that subscribe button to stay updated for more incredible videos. My name is Michael with Wildlife X Team. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you later. Having trouble with wildlife in your home or office? Wildlife X Team is your solution to get rid of the raccoons, bats, rats, and snakes. Having a professional team, we offer both residential and commercial animal removal methods by using innovative and integrated techniques. Our services include animal trapping, dead animal removal, nuisance wild animal control, and animal capture. What are you waiting for? To get 24-7 service, call us at 855-WILDLIFE for an affordable solution for your nuisance wildlife issues.